Hey, Chris Matthew from Magic Leap here. I'm just playing with Prismatic, which is a JavaScript file that you can add to a web page and view it in Helio, the, the web browser for the Magic Leap one. And what that allows you to do is with just simple HTML, um, put a 3D object in your space or build apps that run uh, in, in your space just using pure um, HTML and JavaScript. So let me show you how simple and fun this can be. So if you just go to the creator portal um, and do getting started with Prismatic, um, on step two of this, there's a cool little sample project that you can download, which comes with a, um, a balloon.fbx uh, model uh, file. Um, it looks like this. Um, and another interesting thing is that it supports um, FBX and GLTF right out of the box. So those are the two main formats that you can get off of uh, Sketchfab, which you can imagine, you know, the millions of cool objects uh, that are available there. So anyhow, it'll let you take one of these 3D objects, view it in a, in a web browser, if you will, and if you use this extractable uh, equals true flag, uh, on this this uh, HTML uh, line, it'll actually let you pull that model out of the browser and place it in the room. So let me show you how simple this is. I'm running Node.js just to serve this static file, but you could run any uh, web server uh, on localhost. So if we go to uh, my command line, I'm going to run node um, uh, index.js. So that sets my web server up running. I'm going to go to uh, another tab and I'm going to run if config. That will get me the IP address of my uh, local host here, which if we look at this, it's 192.168.0.17. So then all we need to do is uh, open uh, the Helio browser. So if I do this, get my menu, I'm going to say uh, run Helio. It'll let me put it out here in my room. So that's my web browser. And these are like my pages I've been to, but if we go to this last one I was just at, this is my uh, web page. So look at my 192.0.17 uh, port 3000, and there's my uh, balloon.fbx. So um, remember what I mentioned earlier, if we just uh, click this dude and drag him out, Look at that, I can move him around, I can put him wherever I want, I'll put him there. And then if you hit the bumper, so look, notice my web page is still here, my, my balloon model's there, but I've extracted it uh, to run in, inside of my room. I can still move it, I can move him, uh, let's say put him over by the guitars. And then if you hit the bumper uh, key here, um, it lets you do cool things like I could cast it with uh, friends in avatar chat, you know, our social app, which is pretty cool. I could start inviting friends to that. So uh, I'll, I'll cancel out of that. Um, uh, let me let me close this and show you just how cool this this uh, other ability is. If we go back to my uh, my editor here and I just simply make it bigger. Let's double the, the pixel size of the model. I'll save. And then if I go back up to um, my Helio browser and uh, refresh this page, look at that. In real time, since we're running just a web page off of localhost, I've got a, 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 a model that's twice as big as it was earlier. Now, if, if I pull him out uh, like I did last time, look at this. The model's also three times bigger than the two times bigger model we just made. So uh, I can just imagine the fun that we can have with just simple HTML and JavaScript uh, building web apps, 3D spatial apps uh, inside of a web browser. So I'll be playing with this a little bit more. Just wanted to show you just how fast and fun this is just to get started with HTML and JavaScript.